All right, now that we've identified how to make sprites, we're going to be now using sprites. So we're going to be making a smaller sprite. In this case, in Photoshop, I'm just going to go new, and we're going to make a sprite that is like 256 by 256. Okay, so it's going to be a square sprite. It's going to be 32-bit, and we're going to follow the same kind of uh, workflow that we did before. You know, the fact that I have a gray background that I develop it on, and over here I am edit fill the background with that foreground color. Then switch it out and develop your sprite. In this case I'm going to go with maybe a mid-tone green. This is that soft brush. I'm going to make this in the middle and I'm not going to let it touch the outside edge. Okay, so then we'll get some blue in here maybe. And we'll get some particles in the center of it. Okay. That's pretty cool. There we go. Perfect. That's what I want. That's my sprite. So what we're going to do now is take and delete the background out now that I have de it developed. And we're going to save it as uh, something like Sprite. Okay, on to After Effects where I import the Sprite in. It's a PSD file. And it's a footage, not a composition. There we go. Now... I'll have to make a new composition, and the new composition is going to be 1920 by 1080. This is going to be where the sprite is going to be launched. First, I have to kind of develop the sprite as far as it being a composition. So I click and drag the sprite down to the composition. Now it's a composition. What's the difference? Well, now I can launch different effects on it. Like, let's say, for instance, Glow, which is under Stylize, Glow. Okay, well, let's tag down on Glow and give it some life. So we're going to look at Glow Threshold. I'm going to toggle it, and I'm going to toggle it again over here. But in the center here, I'm going to make it so the threshold's down a little bit, I think. Or is it up? Up. Okay, there we go. So now it goes like this. All right, that looks pretty good. And we can go through this entire thing and make, you know, like maybe the glow intensity and then lower the glow intensity. You get the idea. You can probably spend a good hour on this thing. Okay, and rank it down. There we go. So now it does one of these things. So now it's a pulsating sprite. So let's go back to the composition under project. Let's go to comp, and the little sprite lives here, okay? And I can put him down here if I wanted to, and there he is. And you can see he pulsates. Well, what I want to do is go over here to particle. So if you type in under effects and presets, P-A-R, it'll bring up CC particle world. So the first thing I need to do is insert a new solid and I'm just going to hit OK. Then on the solid I can launch CC Particle World. Now technically I don't need the sprite showing so I'm going to turn it off and for the type of particle right now if I hit spacebar this is what happens. Well the type of particle I don't want I want faded disk and that way, I can choose under texture, 
the sprite that I made. Okay, so there we go. A lot slower. And what about the color? Well, the color stated in here. I have no choice but to use that color. Or I can choose more colors related to what my original sprite was. So there's my sprite. I'm going to just zoom in here. Now you can see that it's not as clear as what I would thought it would be. You know, you, and sprites are like that. They're not as clear as that. And you could try different variations of the sprite too. Like instead of the faded, you can try um, the textured square. And you might get a more reasonable account on that sprite. But you're not going to get nearly the clarity as the original sprite is. Because, well, for one thing, these things have to generate very fast, so we, they can't hold that much detail. Alright, well, now that we have this sprite, um, we can totally play around with this. We have birth rate. Okay. Longevity is just how long they live. The birth size, I can make it so they glow really big. But what I like to do is go in here, collapse all these, and there's one in here called producer. And in producer, what I'm going to do is spread them out in X, in Y, and in Z. So now they have depth, height, and width. And if I hit spacebar, you can see they're just flying everywhere but they are also pulsating. So they do lag quite a bit. They make great backgrounds though. Absolutely ba great backgrounds. Alright, so what I can tell you is this. There's a lot of little things that you need to learn in here, but um, to learn them, you must learn them on your own. Uh, I could tell you gravity is very important and velocity is also important. But the essentials is XYZ producer and how to get the essential sprite into it. The rest of this stuff is you're going to learn this stuff as you go along changing numbers. That's how you really learn it. Let's not kid ourselves. All right, so that's essentially how you make sprites in After Effects. Now there is two other worlds. There is a particle system two and a particle playground. Particle playground is more like a 2D aspect. Particle system two uh, doesn't have the. I don't think it has the 3D either. I always use particle world because it has the X, Y, and Z producer. Okay, and certainly you could change this up where it has a background, so I can go into new solid and choose something like a light gray I'll put that on the bottom and then you could switch this to anything let's say instead of um, the effects as normal you want something like maybe color dodge and now you get that true representation of a glow Alright, so that's beginning sprites. Enjoy.